anything else, but I think I can see. I just realized I don't have my glasses. Maybe I can't. Let me run and get those real quick. Thank you. Because of these that I can't play baseball. Well, I could give you about a hundred other reasons why as well. Uh, can't throw, can't run, can't hit, can't catch. Okay. They say those that can't coach. So the next time you're playing ball and your coach tells you what to do, remember he probably knows because he couldn't do it. All right. How many coaches do I have here tonight? Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know what? what, what what's our memory verse for today? Who can give me the memory verse? Matthew. Right there, go ahead. You didn't know I was going to call on you, did you? You raised your hand. You, you want to give it? You, you know it? Matthew 21, 22. What is it? Over here. David. Okay, can you, uh, I'm sure it's more than that. Matthew probably wrote something there. With God, what? Yes, back there, white shirt. Now you sat down. No, the one in front of you. Yeah, the one that sat down and got shy as soon as I pointed at you. What is it? If you, if you believe, you shall receive whatever you ask for in prayer, right? Thank you very much. Good job. Give that man some credit. Anyway, I want to talk, I was, think, I was praying about this, and I, um, the worship leader at our church is a, is a carpenter, and uh, last week when I began to pray about what the Lord wanted me to share and how I was going to share it, I pictured a door here, and I was going to have him build me a door with a lock, and I thought, no, you know, I'm not going to do that, that's, you know, I was going to wait till Friday and ask him to build it, um, maybe Thursday, he might have been able to pull it off. But I got to thinking about it. I was praying. I, you know, I began to realize something that this is baseball season. Football season is just around the corner. Basketball season is just ending, and there are other sports too. I guess there are sports like NASCAR. Yeah. Is that a sport? Yeah. It's a powerful sport. Okay. All right. Um, we had the Indianapolis 500 last week. They, you know, they, they consider race car drivers and that sport athletes, right? Um, but it's, it's that time of year, and we, we, you know, we, we watch it. I sat, I sat Thursday night and watched the Cleveland Cavaliers. I watched LeBron James. How many of you ever heard of LeBron James? I watched LeBron James just take apart the Detroit Pistons for the last half of the second quarter in both overtimes. 25, his team, the last 25 points of the game. He scored them all. Not a ball hog. He's a man that, that, yeah, that's from the guy that didn't get the ball from him. Now, anyway, but he just, he stepped up. He said, you know what? People, that, you have expectations. There are expectations. Michael Jordan, there were expectations, weren't there? And he lived up to those expectations. Kobe Bryant, okay? I don't know what the expectations of him are. I'm not a Lakers fan. But I remember there were games this year where he scored 50, 60, 80 points. And if it weren't for him doing that, they'd have lost. Because there were expectations. But you, when there's expectations, you can't have expectations unless there's possibilities. Now, I was thinking about this. And, and what I came to realize is, you know, I wanted to find out how many of you that play Little League would love to play pro ball? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you an illustration here. Uh, my my sons and I, we we do what we call airsoft. That's what we go out. Yeah. See. Yeah. Okay. We go out. We go out and we shoot each other with BBs. Now they're plastic, but you can still feel them. My son's got. A, he's got a pistol that shoots 400 feet per second. Semi-automatic. Choo choo choo. But anyway. He let me borrow his, 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 this is his camo ammo. It, well, there goes my sermon. So in, in here is 10,000 BBs. They're green. In here is one BB that's white. Okay? Your chances of making professional baseball are about as good as finding one white BB in this container. Only one out of every 10,000 Little Leaguers make it to the pros, kids. Those aren't real good odds, are they? But then I, when my son started Little League this year, one of the guys that spoke grew up with David Wright. They said when David Wright played t-ball, he couldn't hit the ball off the tee. 
He was a short little chunky kid who hit the team more than he hit the ball. But you know what he did? He didn't give up. He saw a possibility. He saw a chance to do something, and he did it. Now, I say that to say that for some reason in life, it's easy for us to look at the things of the world and see its possibilities, no matter how great the odds, and desire to do it. And yet, as our scripture passage this evening tells us, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. You see, we serve a God who's bigger than baseball. A God who's bigger than NASCAR. Sorry, guys. A God that's bigger than basketball. He's a God that's bigger than politics. Some, poli some people, they aspire to be politicians. I don't know why. They just want to see how close they can get to doing something without getting thrown in jail, I guess. <laughs> but with that in mind, you know, you do things. When I, when I was a little kid, I wanted to play ball. I ended up being a pastor. I don't know if that's necessarily similar or not. I get to play at the softball games at the picnics. That's as close as I get now. But for us as believers... is for you guys as young men and even for you adults you leaders I think it's important that we begin to understand that there's something greater than what this world has to offer there's something that's more exciting to work for to strive for to get in our lives and that something is Jesus Christ that something is a relationship with him I come to powwows every year and I see God do wonderful things in the lives of young men and commanders we try, I try not to miss them. Sectional powwows, district powwows. I've seen God do things. I've seen you get excited by the fire. You're all sitting there now wishing you had a hot dog. <laughs> you know you are. Amen. You want to stick a marshmallow in that thing, it's going to come out burnt. Now it's, going to, it's going to fall off the stick, isn't it? Okay. Well, when we're done here, go back to your campsite, have your commanders make you one, melt that marshmallow. Right now, this is just my light. But let's take a look at this just real quick tonight because the first thing he says is if you believe. What do we have to believe in? God. Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? Nothing else. Tonight I want you to forget everything else. You know what? You believe in people, they can disappoint you. Now I'm not saying that you don't want to believe in people, but you know what? I'm also a parent and there are many times in my life as a parent that I disappoint my children. Many times that my children have certain expectations or they want certain things and I don't meet that expectation. I don't give them what they want and they're disappointed. And it's hard for them to believe in me as a parent. You may have a parent, your parents at home tonight, your mom or your dad, and you might be here and you might be saying, you know what, that's been the way for me. I love my mom, I love my dad, but they do things to disappoint me. We're human. We make mistakes. There's some times when as children, maybe you don't live up to your parents' expectations as well. Believe in them and trust them. But right now, the key is to believe in Jesus Christ. If you begin to see Jesus as you see that person that's disappointed you, then you're not going to be able to go to the next thing, which is receive. Because Jesus desires nothing more tonight than to be your Lord, your Savior. But today we spend so much time looking at athletes. We spend so much time looking at actors as the role models that we desire to live like, as we desire to follow. We've been talking and we see in the news this week that, you know, um, Michael Vick, who's from, you know, from the area here, right? He could end up losing his NFL career because of doing something that's illegal. And yet there are young men out there today that want to be Michael Vick. You may have thought that's what you wanted to do. I want to play professional football. I want to be like him. Anyone that you look to aspire to be like, anyone that you desire to be like, realize that they're just human. But there's one that's greater than any man, and that's Jesus Christ. And you can never, he can, you can never, or he will never disappoint you if you believe in him.